Hi, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Thanks for joining me. Today we're having a look at the Google Nexus 6P. Today this was from Vodafone, so thank you very much to them. And today I'm going to go through the disabled settings on each phone as I always do. So this is a key thing to me. Being partially sighted, I have to first of all change the text, change the brightness when I get a phone. So at the moment it's standard size, fonts and everything for everyone else because it might put people off if they see a video with larger text or with contrast text, it may be putting them off. So what you need to do is go into your applications, then in settings and then all the way down to the bottom, third from bottom you need to click an application that's called accessibility. So here in accessibility, if I just lift it up actually a little bit, it's a bit easier for me to see. So first of all, I can actually toggle on this larger text so I can read it. So first of all, from the top, we have talkback. You have switch access. Switch access means the switches on the side can access different features of your phone. You've got captions, magnification gestures as well, large text. You've got high contrast as well on your text, so it makes the brightness of the text a little bit easier to read. Power button to end a call, which is nice and helpful. Auto screen rotate, so if we flip around, we get a nice auto screen rotate. Flip back. You've got speak your password. Accessibility shortcut, this means it can be added onto the home screen. Text to speech output, a touch and hold delay. Color inversion, so this will change the color to make it nice and easier for some people to read. And you've got color correction, so the two I want to actually have a look at here. First one is magnification gestures. Toggle this on. So one, two, three. Pinch in as well. There you go. Brilliant to read, nice and simple to do. So tap a one, two, three, we'll take it back to normal. You can either leave that toggled on or off, and that'll work anywhere on the device. So coming back, the next one I want to show you is talk back. So you just toggle this on again, and then hit OK. Accessibility tutorial. When explore by touch is turned on, you can touch the screen to learn what's under your finger. For example, the current screen contains app icons. Find one of them by touching the screen and sliding your finger around. Showing item 1 of 24. Okay, so what TalkBack does is display everything that's on the screen. So first of all, it's taken us through a little tutorial. So it wants us to choose an application. your finger around the screen until you find at least one more icon. Okay, we'll do another one. Google. You can also explore by swiping your finger left and right anywhere on the screen. Try quickly swiping from left to right to move to the next icon. Google Now Launcher. To activate something that you've explored, tap the screen twice. Explore until you find the calculator icon. Then double tap anywhere on the screen to activate it. I. So it's just taking us through a quick demo there. So if you haven't used this before, it's a good thing to do. Otherwise, on the iPhones, the to Google. something that you've explored, tap the screen twice. Explore exit button. Talk back. And also, it can do key things by telling you the time. 11.49. So it could tell us the time there. It can tell you your battery percent as well. And it can also help through many other applications, which is great to see. And it's very nice to see from a disabled person's point of view that Google has included this in their latest software as well. Okay, so that was the disabled settings on the Google Nexus 6P. Thanks always for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.